பி பிளஸ்டு பை தி டிவைன் வாழ்க வையகம் வாழ்க வையகம் வாழ்க வளமுடன் டுடே ஐ ஒன் டு ஷேர் மை தாட்ஸ் ஆன் கிராட்டிடியூட் ஸோ ஹவு பீயிங் கிரேட்ஃபுல் டு வாட் யூ ரிசீவ் ஸோ ஃபார் ஹெல்ப்ஸ் யூ இன் யுவர் டே டு டே லைஃப் ஸோ தேட்ஸ் வாட் ஐ ஒன் டு ஷேர் டு டே தாட் ஃபார் தே இந்த கர்ம யோகா தெர் ஆர் டூ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் திங்ஸ் தேட் இஸ் பீயிங் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ்ட் அண்ட் யூ நோ ரிப்பீட்டட்லி டோல்ட் த நம்பர் ஒன் இஸ் ஆக்சுவலி த கிராட்டிடியூட் த செகண்ட் திங் இஸ் கான்ஸ்டன்ட் அவேர்னஸ் so the gratitude is about being grateful on what you received so far and constant awareness is about the you you are aware of what you are speaking what you are thinking and what you are performing different actions so today we'll focus on gratitude and the first part of the karma yoga so what is gratitude gratitude is simply in simple terms it's about what you received from various things you are being very grateful about it that's what is simply you know gratitude is all about now let us take few examples which we see in our practical day to day life for example the food we eat so the food we eat where did it come from so first actually uh, the farmer food puts the seed in the ground now the ground or the soil is a natural resource and then the rain the natural resource and the sunlight is a natural resource so the first thing is we are all continuously receiving from the nature in various forms so if we do not receive from the nature the nature stops giving to us then we will all suffer even though money and other things we may have but if the nature does not provide us with whatever it has we are all going to suffer so we should be grateful about what we receive from the nature next is the farmer puts a seed and works hard finally it becomes into a grains or vegetables now the vegetable comes to the market place and the shopkeeper sells it to all of us now there are three people and many people the truck driver who tra- you know who takes the goods from the village and you know transfer to the city place right so there are many people involved in the connection so even though we have money we cannot do all the activities by ourselves so that means in one way or other way we are all dependent on the society so the nature and the society is always continuously supplying our needs so we should be grateful about what we receive from the society and from the nature that is what is in simple terms gratitude being grateful to what you receive so far is known as gratitude now let us uh, try to understand it little more in deeper when you feel yourself being grateful about what you received so far helps you to receive more i'll tell you a very simple you know example for example there are two children in a family now the child one and the child two now child one is very naughty and not respecting the parents not studying well and had a, has addiction to bad habits now the child two is studying well and doing all his work sincerely and he or she is very obedient to the parents and to the teachers and everyone now the years passed away years passed away now it's an admission to the college the father had or the parents had very little money with them so now whom normally to whom normally they give more money for their higher education the the student or the child the second child which studied well very obedient and living on the values of the life because they know that if i give you know my my savings to this child she is going she or he is going to use it very wisely and it is going to help her as well as to the society right as a human being we even when we help somebody we look at whether really worth or not so if we, if i give this to someone else will they really do it usefully or will they use it wisely or not so same kind of thought process arises in our mind whenever we help somebody else right same way each thought that we generate inside contains these kind of emotions so if you are grateful about what you received so far in your life then automatically you start receiving more good things into your life for example we are all actually you know as per the law of attraction as you think so you receive so if i blame the people around myself 
if i blame the situation if i blame about my life partner my family work environment then i am going to have that kind of you know uh, blamed or you know environment only in front of me because that's what i've been doing that frequently rather i should be grateful about my life partner i should be grateful about my family i should be grateful about my the job because when you start establishing a new set of relationship and connection with the you know whatever you already are connected then automatically the relationship nourishes so that's what is simply in terms of gratefulness that's a simple law of attraction as you think you reestablish a positive connection with all the things that you are doing so then again one more aspect to it actually if you look at our biomagnetism that is our genetic center inside and we are all surrounded by the biomagnetism this biomagnetism is keep on radiating now it has certain vibrational frequency and vibration energy level let's say if i am a person with a quality of greediness hatred mm-hmm. anger and blaming others not being satisfied with what i received so far ungrateful that's what is known as ungrateful if i am ungrateful about many things then automatically what i am going to do i am i am emitting such negative vibration around myself who is going to be attracted by such negative vibration people with such <laughs> negative uh, see people with such negative vibration are attracted towards me so since i am it negative ungrateful vibration around myself and i receive something and which doesn't give me happiness it comes with a kind of always little bit of pain because it's all created inside so that's what is we you know thrown out outside so from today onwards you start you know giving up a create a new habit pattern or a thought process whatever you received in your life be grateful be grateful about what you received in your life because the divine power as per your karmic imprints has offered you whatever you are supposed to receive doesn't matter whether you want or not you will receive whatever you are supposed to receive the only thing is how you receive if you are grateful about what you received so far and whatever you are going to be re- you know receive whatever you are going to receive in the future also will give you a lot of a grateful feeling when you will feel grateful about something something you feel that is very useful to you something it nourishes you inside something brings you a cheer something brings you a happiness to your soul that's what is you will feel grateful now you actually create that kind of a thought pattern habit pattern inside yourself forcefully when you do that the soul understands the atma the soul understands that and starts receiving such grateful things in your life typically what we do is we are actually wearing a glass in front in our eyes so when i look at somebody i wear a green glass and look at somebody what will happen everything will look like a green so same way red spectacle if i wear then everything look like a red the same way if i wear a blaming ungrateful hatred vibrational energy level in front of myself and that is surrounded around my aura and if i see through that everything will look like that only because i have been blaming continuously then whatever in front of me so there is a board white board there are couple of dots in the white board if i am a person with a blaming personality i would say hey there are two black dots in the white board rather if i am a positive personality a grateful personality what a beautiful white board so the same way i can interpret the same information into two different ways it's all the kind of thought process that i create inside myself there have been Uh, many scientific research has been carried about regarding the gratefulness and einstein you know the famous einstein and he used to be you know thank all the scientists who have invented many things in this life so he used to say that i have climbed on the shoulders of many scientists and invented many things because i am grateful and i am thankful to them the same thing is said by isaac newton another great scientist so thomas alva edison and shakespeare mother teresa all these people applied gratefulness in their day to day life and they thanked the society the people whoever helped them in a day to day life as a result they received more divine knowledge into themselves which resulted in the form of literature or a social service or a scientific innovation so 
as a common man if you start apply this philosophy in your life you will see a dramatically change in your way you live change in the way we actually live with the different things actually for example another scientific study has been carried out uh, those who are being grateful saw their diseases intensity of the diseases coming down so what they what a doctor said actually did a research is they actually took two set of groups a set of patients whom they started applying the gratefulness and other set of patients whom normally they left it as it is most of the patients had a common problem in themselves some sort of a hurted feelings inside a kind of a vengeance anger hatred these are the emotional pains as they underwent for a pretty long period of time as a result it resulted in a disease in them so the doctor actually started suggesting try down 10 different things that they were grateful about in their life and they started noting down and every day they practice in their prayer so they close their eyes and then started remembering i am grateful about my thing this is what i am grateful about my house i am grateful about my life partner i am grateful about my children i am grateful about the clothes that i am wearing i am grateful about the food that i received today there are so many things they started telling themselves 10 things they started focusing every day so they repeated the same 10 things and in a month's time they saw the phenomenal improvement in their health condition because the positive feeling the positive therapy helped them to recover from their diseases quickly whereas the other set of patients uh, especially the patients those who have more anger and vengeance feeling inside who repeated that kind of a thought pattern uh, did not show much recovery and few set of people were neutral whereas the people who showed more gratefulness feeling by writing a gratitude journal like repeating the 10 different great things good things that they received in their life repeating that it improved their health so now we are all in a group who practice meditation every day now we know the value of gratitude we received many things in this life in this society and everywhere now we should be grateful about what we received in this life let us talk each one of the relationship So let us start with the family and then i'll talk about the work environment in the family if you look at the first thing comes in the life partner many of us keep blaming our life partner for saying that oh my life partner i am you know what is my situation many people keep blaming you shouldn't do that because who is your life partner life partner is decided when you are born in this world because the divine power when you are born in this world prepares a life partner for you so it's all your actions your karma decides the quality of your life partner that's all that's the difference so now if at all you have to blame somebody it's all you you have to blame yourself so for the life partner she is or he is helping you a lot to you in your day to day life and taking care of lot of good things that you receive from your life partner on your day to day life so what should you do you should be thankful for receiving so many things from your life partner first actually it's a mental inner feeling from there you start so what you do you actually start expressing that feeling to your your life partner first you feel inside and express that feeling to your life partner so automatically when you start feeling the gratefulness inside even if little bit of friction comes in our life what we do we ignore that because so you are receiving many things great things from your life partner should i need to really concern a small thing should i make a big fight and for that not at all right in this life the same way uh, if you start applying this you know methodology with your children wonderful right because let's say you didn't even get married what would have happened in your life not sure because you will be in a depressed person many other people got married and you didn't get married so as a result you would suffer a lot more than other things right and children if you do not have children another mental pressure goes you right many people will start blaming you so lot of things so you are gifted with the wonderful children in your life so if you start feeling that kind of a gratefulness automatically you will establish a new divine connection with your life partner and children and that will transform the relationship into a very positive one that's the first thing and the second is with the work environment i have seen in many offices wherever i have worked people blame about the company people blame about the managers that they work the client the projects everywhere whatever they do remember 
When you do that, you lose whatever you have already receiving from the divine power. Because when you start appreciating the things, especially the company, the manager, the work environment, automatically you connect positively with everyone. Remember, many people, many people are not having job in this world. Many people, many countries where the political system is so weak and they fight in wars. Many people, they do not have even proper infrastructure to even start a company. Many countries in Africa, many countries are still fighting in wars. Look at ourselves. We live in a country where we have very good job, very system, and people don't loot money from each other. We are living in a country where things are systematic and structured. Is that not a fair? Is that not? We should, should we not be grateful about that? So we have a system which has given me a job. I have a company which gives me money. I have a manager who assigns me a job. Of course, there are differences. A little bit of is there. But still, I am joyful. That gives me money. That satisfies my daily needs. That helps me to take care of my family. So it offers me so many things. So I should be grateful about my job. Once that kind of a grateful feeling comes inside, what will I do? I am going to contribute more productively. My commitment increases. I am helpful to everyone. I value the things around myself. Automatically, that's going to take me to next level in terms of a career progress. Rather, if I keep blaming things, blaming things, emit negative radiation, that radiation, remember, there are few things in this world hidden. Many people do not understand that. Remember, many things hidden in this happening. The moment, moment I think bad about the company, hey, this company is not good, not good, not good. I'm sending a negative vibration towards the company. I have already, so 10 different times, I have thrown such vibrations. The company will give you negative things only because of that negative vibration that you have thrown out. The same way, if you throw out the positive, this company is good. I'm very grateful about what I received from this company. I am happy with the salary. I am happy with the work. When you start saying, you will receive a wonderful job, wonderful salary. Everything will come to you without much hard work. Again, underline the word. You don't have to work too hard in this life. So, if you're working too hard means you are, your negative karma is working. Change your thought pattern. You will see automatically dramatic changes coming in your life. So, that's another one I would like to say that. The next is actually many other small, small situations that we face. For example, you are stuck in a traffic and you start blaming, you know, the situation and everything. Remember, we have a very good infrastructure. Yes, one or two times we might land in that kind of a problem. And it might be, you should not be, never ever throw out hatred emotion. It's always opposite to the grateful feeling. In spirituality, hatred is again, uh, you know, will not allow you to progress yourself in the spirituality. Let us take the car that you are using. Suddenly it got broke down somewhere else. What you do immediately, this car is this, that and all. You start blaming the car. Remember, look at 10 years that car is with yourself. 10 years, have you ever thanked the car that you are using? 10 years. 10 wonderful years it served you. Just one day it got broke down and you just keep the car here and there. Is that not an act of ungratefulness? We shouldn't do that. We shouldn't do that at all. Because the car has offered you wonderful service helped you to travel thousands of kilometers, offered to travel to your office many times, offered you to, it has offered a very good service to travel to shop, many wonderful places you visited with your car. So, so many things you receive, right, from the car. That means you should be grateful to the car that you receive. When you start connecting with the car with that kind of a positive radiation, the car's life longevity will increase. It will serve you better. This is a pure, simple, wave theory mechanism works with non-living objects as well as living beings which is plants animals and human beings so that's what is all about gratefulness actually applying this gratefulness you can receive more and more positive things in life never ever blame anyone for anything in this world the moment you blame you cut off the divine connection which you have already the moment you cut off the divine connection you lose your temperament you become more emotionally imbalanced and what you do, you make mistakes. But the moment you feel gratefulness, you are feeling grateful about what you receive, you establish the connection with the divinity. Then the divine power guides you, the divine power protects you, the divine power takes you where you want and what it needs to offer. So it's a very simple, uh, smart technique to live a happy living actually. 
Life is a melodious music. Life is a melodious music. And the music is, you know, how a flute music comes. You have a bamboo and you flow the air into the bamboo and then it comes out as a music. The same way you flow, you leave it as it is. Blow the gratefulness feeling inside. And the wonderful music will come in from the bamboo and you will enjoy your life. Rather, if you choke the bamboo with expectation, hatred, anger, negative feelings, it will choke the bamboo completely. If you apply gratefulness feeling, the bamboo will actually, you know, glow or you know, give you a wonderful music. Music. The same way, life is a wonderful music, a melodious music. And if you want to understand the minute things in life, gratefulness is one of the feeling. As you connect to the divine using the gratefulness, you will see small small things. You will not be disappointed at all. You will accept as it is whatever the nature gives you because nature will start revealing more and more secrets through your mind because the beauties of the the secrets of the nature lies in the beauties of the mind the more and more beautiful our mind becomes externally also everything will look pretty first the beauty created inside then it reflects outside whatever may be the external situation i become myself very beauty inside Externally, also it will look very beauty to me. So many saints, many rishis, they did not have anything. They hardly have one piece of cloth with themselves, lived in a state of bliss. You would have heard those stories, you know, still many rishis living in Himalayas and in many other places. We have more, more, more and com more comforts around ourselves, but still deprived of happiness. That means we are greedy and we are not having content, we are not being grateful to what we receive so far. Let us develop the habit of being gratefulness. This will positively improve our health, mental, physical health, and then mental health, and also spiritually we will progress in a very high faster rate. And that's the fundamental of Karma Yoga. So many saints, many rishis have shared the same thought process, and I have shared the same thing to you. Be blessed by the divine. Warifa Vayakam, Warifa Vayakam. Why do you want to